what's going on? This is Jay from SonyAlphaLab.com and in this review I'm going to go over the Tamron 18-200 to versus the Sony 18-200 And as you can see, they're physically much different in size. The Sony is significantly fatter. It's actually 3 inches versus 2.7. And they're the same length, 4 inches. Um, but the filter size is bigger on the Sony. It's uh, 67 millimeter versus 62. The, the Sony is 18.5 ounces and the Tamron is 16.2 so you know it has a, an advantage when it comes to the, or the weight the Tamron zoom is kind of hard you know it, it has like a, for lack of a better word kind of like a cheap feel to it as opposed to the Sony which has a much more quality feel to it very smooth much better dampening however the Sony self closes and self zooms see this and it does it uh, that way and it does it this way so if you're aiming straight down you can't you have to hold the, the zoom so that is a negative of the Sony but it is much smoother I would I would take the smoothness personally over that but perhaps they could add a couple extra lock spots or something or add more dampening I don't know to address that but the, the Tamron does not suffer from that but it's a lot harder to zoom you know it's just tighter basically like that. Um, there is more glass in the Tamron as well. The Tamron actually has 17 elements versus 15 so there's two more pieces of glass in here that the light has to go through. Mommy. Come here Layla. Come here mama. In certain scenarios. Uh, for my personal you know opinion so far uh, I really can't tell the difference. They, they both take great pictures um, the image stabilization works great on both. The focus is also pretty much about the same on both. All right, here we got the Sony 18 to 200 f3.5 to 6.3, and have it on a tripod mounted to the next seven. I have image stabilization or optical steady shot enabled, and it's on the tripod. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom into the flag, and then I'm going to zoom back out, and uh, you know, just watch the focus and things like that. I'm also using center focus I have it on flexible spot and I have it right in the center so that's how it's all set up yeah so let me see here let me zoom in I'm just gonna zoom in you know relatively slow here just let it sit there for a second very cool wind just picked up so I'll back out a little bit there we go. Very nice. Works really well. I'm just going to aim it up a little bit. There we go. 200 millimeter with optical steady shot on, on the tripod. Excellent. All right. I'll zoom back out like so. There we go. And that, like I said, was set wide open. Uh, F3.5, and then it, when I, as you zoom, the aperture automatically changes to 6.3 when you get to 200, and it increments, you know, throughout the zoom range down to that. So, all right, stand by. I'm just going to hit stop here, and I'm going to switch, put the Tamron on, and continue. All righty. Here's the Tamron 18 to 200. Same exact test. Camera set up, same exact way. And hi, Layla. And I'm just going to zoom in. I'm in 18 millimeter right now, and it's wide open, F3.5. So I'm just going to zoom in now relatively slowly on the flag. The zoom on the Tamron is not near as smooth as the Sony. just want to note that. Focus seems to be about the same. Uh, you, could, you could argue that the Tamron focus is slightly quicker. It definitely does in certain situations, but overall it seems to be about the same if you average it out, you know. But it does occasionally focus faster noticeably. But usually it seems to focus about the same, so it's mostly due to the IQ, the camera itself. 
All right, there we go. Very good. So it does a good job, as you can see. But like, focus is pretty quick. Let's watch here. Ooh, it's taking a while. Okay. That took a long time that time. <clears throat> Sony definitely actually seems a little bit more accurate. Like when it gets to the focus point, it seems to go and then stop a little bit quicker. The Tamron seems to go, struggle a little bit, and then nail it. So, but like I said, it, it really does depend on the on the scene because I've seen it where the Tamron performs better in this department than the Sony. All right, so one other thing that I wanted to show you guys, uh, Brian had a question about the, um, the, you know, how it mounts to the actual camera and, and how tight it is. So let me show you real quick. This is the Rokina fisheye. Rokinan. That's a really awesome lens, by the way. All right, now the uh, Tamron here. Let me put this on. All right, it's attached, and I mean, there's pretty much no movement here. There was more movement on the um, on the other lens, the Rokinon lens, to be honest with you. So let me try the Sony. Sony actually has a little bit of play, but it's like really tight. Yeah, there's just a little bit of play with the Sony. It's normal. Let me put this one back on. Yeah, same thing. It's got the same thing. They all have the same thing. No big deal. There's that just that little bit of play, you know, when they're locked on. It's it's not a big deal. My Canon has more play, honestly. The the one I'm filming with, the 5D Mark II, you can actually like the lens. There's like a rubber seal on the back of the lenses, and the lens it has like more movement than these do. You'd be surprised. Uh, I was kind of surprised, honestly, uh, especially when I first got the next. I couldn't believe how tight the fit was. So it is, uh, in fact, the same. Uh, I can't I can't notice a difference between the two.